Hi guys, how are you doing? Senior Gaming here and I'm bringing you Legend of Slime and I'm gonna run through my current build which is based on frogs and magic coin. So if you're Legend of Slime player or perhaps idle gamer then make sure you subscribe to the channel as I post as often as possible and bring you best tips and advice. And if you enjoy what you see then hit that like button as well. Right then guys, so obviously there is a slight update from the last video I have released, now I have managed to boost my power all the way to 86M and I'm currently farming on hell to 8.9. Bear in mind that this build, in my opinion, is still absolutely for free to play player. The only advantage I have, I've got Cobalus, which is a reward when I purchase non-add pack. And that's as far as I usually go within the games. So I believe you're still able to duplicate my results if you are a free to play player. Bear in mind, I have actually tested multiple builds before releasing this video, and I believe this is the strongest you can get. Bear in mind also, I do not own most of the exotic pieces of the gear, companion or skills, but if you are unlocked all the way to Mythic, you should be able to duplicate that build and hopefully that will help you to push a little bit further. So I've got for you obviously five categories that we need to run through. I'm gonna show you my skills, my relics, traits, companion and finally treasure. So without further ado, let's jump straight into. Alright then, so let's just start off with a first category and that is skill. So the magic coin is obviously foundation of this build, as the name suggests, I'm still using that very common skill, um, as I believe this has taken me through all the way from beginners to mid stages, and this is currently where I'm farming, I still find it very, very useful. So I definitely got a bit of sentiment and I'm still using magic coins for that reason. Then obviously we're gonna move over and select a rage, and the rage will give us great advantage when it comes to companion speed. This is directly linked with a relic, which you're gonna see later on. And then I got pretty much four skills which are damage dealers. So one of the mythics is obviously Dark Clouds, as you see a massive AoE damage over 70k uh, percentage, and this also is directly related to a ring. So if you got S grade ring, you'll be able to influence damage of Dark Clouds. Then I'm going with Pyrokinesis, another heavy hitter, despite being just legendary, having it on level 100 gives me over 21.8 thousand percent again it's a aoe which is great for farming then we're moving into repair and again we've got nearly 13 thousand uh, percentage here and again this is a rare skill but level 100 makes all that difference and finally blizzard another mythic skill great 56.5 thousand percent of attack to all enemies so that's our, our skills now we're gonna move over to relic so Relic, obviously foundation as we just discussed with the coins, so we're gonna use Ancient Coins here to cast Magic Coins even more often. Then Ruby, as just mentioned, with a Rage, this is obviously where it links one to another, and this gives us this massive boost when it comes to Companion Attack Speed, and that's well over a thousand percent, so it's a must-have if you're still running builds around Companion. Then we're moving into a slime figurine, another 20% boost to companion attack. Pile of coins obviously finishing the build with magic coins, so increasing massively damage of that common skill and then firing additional 12 coins. And then we actually have a friendship necklace, again to boost overall damage output we can have a chance to summon goblin troops. Then moving into a Kitsune mask and that will just boost your overall power. So you don't need to, you could go with a birdie mask on my previous build, but now if we're not using birds anymore, Kitsune mask will completely outperform that. So you want to boost your attack by nearly 2000%. And finally, there is no really competition here. We're going with a Tom of Disorder to boost our slime attack by nearly 8k. All right, and now we're moving over to a trade. And in trade, obviously, you want to land as many attack, companion, or skill damage. So as you see, I have managed to have three triple S when it comes to companion, and I've managed to get that one double S when it comes to attack. Unfortunately, this is not a Hydra, it's not an orange sign, but just having this 300% boost my damage massively. So obviously, I have just topped it up with B. Great now just to have some bonuses when it comes to Hydra. So ideally, you want to have obviously four orange to get that 30% extra, as well as top it up with one fiend. But this obviously is gonna be always harder. So normally I'm getting pretty 
pretty much around 30 40 thousand of this resource and I'm trying to roll another great skill ideally where I would like to see it probably have double s with increased attack and another double s here all of them orange so I would have four of Hydra and one fiend and that will be a perfect scenario but currently still very happy with the results Alright, from here we're gonna move over to Companion and as a second part of the build we are going to be based here on Frogs. And obviously the Frogs bonuses will come from Treasure which will be at the very end. So you want to go and select obviously your three strongest Frogs, that's the mi minimum requirement when it comes to this build. And then I actually went with a Spiky as well as Comrade as this will give me just great damage output. Obviously despite this being legendary or epic, because they are on level 100 they get in this extra bonus and therefore they are great damage dealers. Alright and then we're gonna move over finally to a treasure. Starting with the first one we got a plush lichen here, additional boost to overall damage, we boost in here obviously critical hit one. Then we're moving into a sun crown, completely ignoring a second part we're gonna fully rely on this additional 33% of attack and that will boost your overall power. Then we're moving into a frog vase and that's obviously foundation of this build as well as a magic coin part. So in here as you see we're gonna get additional 25% of attack by each frog as a companion. Currently I have three frogs and a fourth one is unlocked as an exotic one. I do not own it yet so actually I'm yet to uh, find out if this build is actually not an ultimate one because obviously I'm gonna add additional frog which means even more damage output. But currently having a three frogs this is already a great great build and is a must have in this slot. Then we're moving into next one which in here we've got Ancient Bonsai and this way we're gonna boost our Reaper damage even further, we're talking here about additional 1000%. Then we're moving into a Lotus Macaroon and in here having obviously these three frog companions again we're gonna cast Reaper and you just seen the other treasure boosting Reaper damage. So one pretty much complement each other. And then sometimes when I try to push stages etc I would definitely use a gold bread as this will give you additional time limit. And then finally we're just gonna go with a Dwarf King Armor for even more damage output and here we're talking additional 20 percent so that will be it guys that's everything you need to know about magic and a frog build i hope you found this useful and as always i'll see you next time